Today we will be using the knife tool to add the flower embellishment to the spring lettering. Click on the machine hoop icon. Select your machine and your hoop. Select your fabric. The software will automatically adjust the embroidery design stitches depending on your fabric choice. Now select create new. Select the machine hoop icon. Rotate the hoop 90 degrees. Center the hoop on your screen. Select the auto icon to change to manual. Select the text icon. Type in the word spring. Check you have font XPG44 selected. Check font size is 35. Click rectangle selection when finished. Choose center in hoop from the machine's drop down menu. Click on the embroidery design. Check the proportional is deselected. And change the width to 190 mm and height to 80 mm. Change the fill from satin to step. While the design is selected, Right click the mouse and select break apart from the drop down menu. You will now see in the sequence manager, the letters have separated. Select insert symbol from the tools drop down menu. Using wingdings as your font option, select the flower and click insert. Holding the left mouse click down, drag the flower into place. Turn off the white fill stitches. Right click on the flower and break apart the design. Delete the unwanted design pieces, so you are left with the flower outline and a single inner circle. Right click the mouse on the two selected flower pieces and group them together. Place the flower so it overlaps the S and P, and the inner circle is half of the letter P. Copy and paste the flower and move the second flower to a different area of the design. Paste a third flower, and decrease the size to 80%. Drag the flower into place. Copy and paste the new flower and move it into the desired location. Paste a third flower into the hoop. Make any last minute changes to the flowers, until you're happy with their placement. Right click on the flower and select ungroup from the drop down menu. Repeat for all the flowers. Select digitize from the toolbar to the left of the screen. Create a line that will intercept the circle. 
select both the line and the circle. Right click with the mouse and select knife from the drop down menu. Now select the circle again and the letter in which it's touching. Right click and select the knife again. Change the cutout section to sunflower. Select digitize and create a line to intercept the flower. Select both the line and the flower, and select the knife tool just like you did for the circle. Now select the flower again and the letters it is touching. Right click and select the knife tool again. You can now see the flower has been cut out of the two letters. Change the fill color of the flower to peony purple. Repeat the same process for the second large flower. Select the small flower and cut out the center. Change the color to canary yellow. Repeat the same steps for the flower and change its color to orchid pink. Repeat this process with the remaining flowers. Select the white fill area of the letters and change the color to meadow green. Make sure you get all the tiny design pieces. How in the color manager, the green does not have a stitch overlay. Delete this artwork that is too small to convert to stitches. Select the stitch flow icon from the toolbar to the lift of the screen. Using the mouse, hold down the left click and drag the mouse horizontally across the letter S to change the stitch flow. Repeat this process until all the green sections are now stitching horizontally. Select stitch flow again and change the angle of the peony purple flowers. Change the angle for the orchid pink flowers. By changing the angle, the light reflects off the stitching, giving the illusion of depth. Change the angle for the canary yellow centers and the sunflower centers. Click 
on the color palette icon in the sequence manager. You will now see the design grouped by color. Select all the green pieces in the sequence manager and right-click the mouse. Choose Join Together from the drop-down menu. This will group all the design pieces together to help reduce the number of color changes. Repeat, so all pieces are grouped according to color. Hold down the left click of the mouse and drag the grouping up to become the third color change. You can use the slow redraw to see how your design will stitch out. Save your design in the draw file before exporting the design to your machine. This will allow you to make changes if needed.